repentance be attentive to yourself so that nothing destructive can separate you from the love of god guard your heart and do not grow listless and say how shall i guard it since i am a sinner for when a man abandons his sins and returns to god his repentance regenerates him and renews him entirely until a man is completely changed by repentance he will be wise always to remember his sins with sorrow and to recall the eternal fire that they justly deserve there is a sin that is always unto death the sin for which we do not repent for this sin even a saint's prayers will not be heard he who repents rightly does not imagine that it is his own effort that cancels his former sins but through this effort he makes his peace with god each hour of the day we should note and weigh our actions and in the evening we should do what we can to free ourselves from the burden of them by means of repentance if that is we wish with god's help to overcome wickedness we should also make sure that we perform all our outward tasks in a manner that accords with god's will before god and for god alone so that we are not mindlessly seduced by the senses in the biblical story elisha then threw a stick into the jordan and brought to the surface the axe head his disciple had lost 2 kings 6:6 6, 6. that is to say he revealed a thought that his disciple believed to be hidden deep within him and he exposed it to the view of those present here the jordan signifies speaking about repentance for it was in the jordan that john performed the baptism of repentance now if someone does not speak accurately about repentance but makes his listeners despise it by failing to communicate its hidden power he lets the ex head fall into the jordan but then a stick and this signifies the cross brings the ex head up from the depths to the surface for prior to the cross the full meaning of repentance was hidden and anyone who tried to say something about it could easily be convicted of speaking rashly and inadequately after the crucifixion however the meaning of repentance became clear to all for it had been revealed at the appointed time through the wood of the cross the moon as it waxes and wanes illustrates the condition of man sometimes he does what is right sometimes he sins and then through repentance returns to a holy life the intellect of one who sins is not destroyed just as the physical size of the moon does not diminish but only its light Through repentance a man regains his true splendor just as the moon after the period of waning clothes itself once more in, in its full light if a man believes in Christ even though he dies he shall live he shall know that I the Lord have spoken and will do it observe with reference to this passage from Jonah 3 verses 1 to 9 how the king represents the natural law the throne is an impassioned disposition in alliance with the senses the robe is the display of self esteem sackcloth is the grief of repentance ashes of humility men are those who sin in relation to intelligence beasts those who sin in relation to desire cattle those who sin in relation to their insensitive power and sheep those who sin in relation to the contemplation of visible things